everyone, Susie Plays here, formerly known as Ivy League Gaming. And for today's video, we are playing Watcher of Realms and we have to talk about our new healer that's coming soon. The finest blood. For the most untainted soul. So yeah, there's a lot of new heroes that are kind of stacking up that we're becoming more and more aware of, that they're releasing on the test server, that we're, we've heard rumors about for their banners. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to say that even though, uh, well, we might not have that update with all these fancy new heroes just yet, that doesn't mean you should not be preparing for them. So luckily in this game, if we want to spend, uh, you can top up ahead of time and take advantage of special bonuses. So let me roll the info about that one now. If you can't resist all of these amazing summoning events, it's time to top up now. Smile One is the official third party platform for payments. Get that W gold. There's even a 10% long-term discount. There's a special event going on now though. From August 30th through September 9th, there's a cumulative top-up rebate event. Purchase at one of the levels and you'll get all the rewards, including in the lower tiers. Diamonds, summoning crystals, stamina potions, and more. Use my link in the description or the pinned comment to top up now. Yeah, so it might not be the weekend you want to spend because maybe we're waiting on all these new really cool heroes, but you can top up and take advantage of the bonuses that are happening, like I said. And just like I showed in that video, here's a better visual of it though. We have a really nice tiered system with the rewards. So you can top up now and all of the details are there. And yeah, honestly, it's, it's really nice to be able to, you know, take advantage of some of these crazy big rewards. If you're going to spend, you might as well do that and you'll get You'll get everything at that tier plus the tier below. So if you're ready to like make a batch purchase, these are the times to do it when you can get extra special rewards. But yeah, use my links in the description and all that fun stuff, like I said. But all right, let's get into today's hero discussion. So I am on the test server, guys. Just to be clear, this is the test server. So there's a lot to talk about, like I mentioned. But first, let's start with Talua, the Holly Blue. So she is a piercer faction magic damage healer damage the butterflies are carrying Tolua's magic dance around the heroes healing and protecting them i don't think she does damage though but let's keep reading in case i'm wrong she has continuous healing damage reduction and rage restoration so that's part of today's question is she a game changing hero rage restoration healing um I also heard she is a cleanser, right? Right? So is she as good as Elowen? Better? Is she going to be a game changer? Let's keep reading and find out. So she's beautiful for one. Isn't she just gorgeous? Love her look. That's the first thing we always have to take a look at is the visuals. Her shoes are cute. Love the extra butterflies. I think they did a really good job. And her face is really stunning. Really, really beautiful face. Okay, so I'm going to let her sit a little bit zoomed in here because she's so lovely. All right, so we have this talent when deployed summons three butterflies around the hero, each granting one stack of butterfly waltz. When a butterfly lands on an ally, it grants forest spirit to them, converts 50% of extra attack speed to healing effect. Okay, this sounds fun already, right? So already it sounds like you're going to want to put a ton of attack speed in her because it's just going to convert to healing effect anyway. And you don't really need a crazy amount of healing effect for someone to be a good healer. You'll need like 100. Uh, so you, you probably don't even need to have any healing effect on this hero, depending on the rest of the kit. We'll keep reading. All right. Every two seconds, this is Butterfly Waltz, restores HP based on the carrier's max HP. Ooh, max HP. Okay. And the casters. Oh, the carrier's max HP and the caster's attack. So she is attack-based healing. 
Uh, the healing is proportional to the number of stacks. Each stack also increases damage reduction by 10%. Cannot be dispelled. An unremovable buff. Okay. That makes me think that there's going to be more bosses in the future that can remove buffs. And they're making sure that this one, it's very clear that it will not strip your buffs. I like that. Dispelled in this case. All right, so grants forest spirit to them when a butterfly lands on an ally. Every two seconds restores HP based on the carrier's max HP. Wait, that sounds the same as butterfly waltz. Almost, okay. It starts the same. And the caster's attack for at least six sec eight seconds. After eight seconds, if the carrier has 100% HP, the butterfly will fly to another wounded ally within one tile or return to the caster. The carrier cannot attract more butterflies, the, and this cannot be dispelled. Okay, so it's a little bit random, right? And let's see, this converts 50% of extra attack speed. What does extra attack speed mean? Oh, beyond the 100. Okay, the attack speed obtained through, the, through any means other than the initial 100 attack speed. So this includes by any means, meaning if we're using an artifact that adds attack speed to allies from like another support unit, if she gets that buff, that's going to increase her attack speed even further, which will even further increase her healing effect. So yeah, she should not need healing effect. You can focus a ton of attack and attack speed on her, right? Instantly can tell that. All right, so her single or her basic attack is a single target heal, sends one butterfly to one ally in range. If the hero isn't carrying a butterfly wall, it's continuously enhances an ally carrying for a spirit instead. Increasing the base healing of Forest Spirit by 50%. So this is, again, only three butterflies that are starting out. There's, it's not like going to every hero yet. So let's keep reading. So the ultimate channels a ritual and instantly sends one butterfly to each of up to three allies in range. During the ritual, all healing effect and rage regen dispel and damage reduction from Forest Spirit also apply to adjacent allies and to the, car to the carriers of Forest Spirit. And the butterflies won't leave their carriers before the ritual ends. So if everyone's grouped together closely in something like Titanic Ruins or Guild Boss, like the Guild Boss 1 or Guild Boss 2, she's going to apply that effect pretty easily because it'll always spread to the adjacent allies. But if we're somewhere where the people are more spread out, this might be a little too random. Let's see more about the dispelling, though. I hope. Because this doesn't sound very consistent yet. Forest Spirit and Butterfly Waltz have a, up to 100% chance to dispel one debuff from each carrier every two seconds. Okay. So it does seem like this is going to be pretty consistent because... Like, at least if we are grouped together and then we're spreading to the adjacent using the ultimate. The only thing I worry about is the dispel, like, timing. It is every two seconds, to be fair. So I really hope that's enough for Titanic Ruins it, to just to cover all the allies. That's the only thing. At least with Elowen, you can time the dispel. Boom. Go through everybody. But... Depending on the range, they might not cover all the heal heroes. So at least this with the butterfly spirits. Uh, let's in. Can the butterfly spirits or the butterfly waltz? Are they in range only? Each uh, when deployed, it doesn't say it has to be in range. When deployed, summons three butterflies around the hero. And when they land on an ally, they're converted to forest spirit. So. Okay, her basic is going to send them within range. So they do have to be within range, right? I was trying to see if there's any way here that this ability could go to any hero that is not in, in range. It doesn't sound like that. But the exception will be because of the ultimate when they spread, it will extend the range. So if you, you hit someone that's within her range and then you use her ultimate, it'll extend to someone outside of her range. So I guess that's the way to cover more allies than just what her range includes. And then Forest Spirit also grants the carrier physical damage reduction and magic damage reduction and restores 0.6% rage per second. Hmm. 
But is every again, is everyone always going to have forest spirit? No. But they might have forest spirit or butterfly waltz, right? Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, it sounds like, again, this, this is good enough if people are grouped together. But because it is random at who the allies are going to go to, and if your teammates are spread out and there's no one adjacent to the allies to give that forest spirit to, if they're like way over in some other spot covering a different area from um, a tile further away, then this is not going to benefit them. So while, so the, the dispel and, uh, what is it? Dispelling plus this damage reduction and everything. It's, it's good, but the rage boosting, or I guess the damage reduction and the rage boosting are not consistent enough for all content, right? Where Elowen is just like, she rage boosts everybody. She's a queen. Or even Hollow at least has a very large range when she's rage boosting. So because this is only based on Forest Spirit and there's no guarantee that's going to be on all the allies, I would say she's not a top tier rage booster, but she could be a top tier debuff dispeller because in Titanic Ruins we are grouped together anyway. So at least for the sake of Titanic Ruins, she, we have a new answer, which we really needed. I know that they were, at least on the Forerunner server, well, I guess we're still waiting for an update, aren't we? Um, hopefully when that happens, we'll get the Nisande buff as well, maybe? I don't know. Are we still waiting on that for Global after the next update? Was that part of it? I don't know. It's been so long. I don't know what the update was even supposed to include. But Nisande got added a dispel to her kit, right? So now we actually have more options for Titanic Ruins, so we're not so pigeonholed into one. Uh, so I like it. I just, I don't know that, um, I don't know that I, I, I feel like I'd much rather prefer something that can be perfectly timed exactly when we want it. But because of the spread and because it's adjacent allies, I think we can cover all the allies with this. So it sounds solid for a cleanser. So she'll definitely be on my list to put in my second team for, um, titanic ruins absolutely all right so sounds really cool let's take a look at her base stats while we're here cost is 18 not bad um base attack is a 4600 normal but not crazy right attack speed um our attack interval is 3.3.0 seconds typical but not great for her basic of course is going to be healing not attacking and then rage, let's see, rage regen auto 15. That's a little higher. Uh, nine for basic attack rage regen and rage regen attacked six. Okay. All right. So yeah, I think, I think that kind of sums it up, right? I think she is a really, or I, I guess she sounds like a solid healer because it's going to be pretty interesting with the um butterflies but at least a healer allies in range and the extended area and areas where group and yeah areas where you put people together top tier hopefully for that dispelling if it actually performs well every two seconds should keep those poisons off the heroes really well like in titanic ruins where we need it the most but not top tier for rage regen let me know if you guys agree with that all right let's take a look at our awakenings so when a butterfly lands on an ally, the ally restores 15% HP. That's great. It just immediately, boom. I like that. That's, that's like an instant, here's the heal. Doesn't matter what else is like, what all the other stats are, just boom, here's 15% HP based healing. I like that. All right. Um, healing effect plus eight. And then woodland blessing, rage regen per second increases by... And extra 1%. So it restores 2% of rage per second. That's pretty good help. But again, only in the allies that are going to be with Forest Spirit, which depends on the content, may or may not be all the allies. It's still good, but it's not as good as Elowen. 
and Rage Regen Auto. And let's see Awaken 5. When a butterfly returns to the hero, restores 50, 50 Rage. Sorry. Um, that sounds great to make her even better to come back to her ultimate more frequently. To keep spreading that forest spirit to other heroes. And yeah, I like it, but and I definitely want her. But Elowen is still the queen, right? I think Elowen is still the queen. Now our next support to take a look at is actually a lovely, wait, and let's dive into the lore. Have I ever seen a fairy? No, but I choose to believe. Laya. Some believe the first time a child laughed, the sound splintered into endless waves of light, birthing the first fairies. Others say it was they who created the universe itself and all who dwell within. One thing remains certain, this world would be much darker place without them. For centuries, these tiny ethereal beings remained hidden from the world of Kaya, their existence known only in folklore and whispered in tales. In truth, they're related to the majestic fae, though more reclusive. The fairies thrived in their peaceful enclave, a small grove north of Blackroot Bog, untouched by the conflicts that raged beyond their emerald canopies. However, their tranquility was shattered as the tides of darkness spread across Taya. The encroaching benevolence began to seep into the northern forests, which were so large to the tiny fairies that they might as well have been in entire woodland galaxies. As deep valleys and crystal clear waters gave way to corruption, they knew it was but a matter of time before their minute homeland would fall. The fairies, bound by their ancient creed of neutrality, found themselves at a crossroads. They could no longer ignore the suffering beyond their borders, for darkness threatened to consume all. For the first time since their inception, a council of fairies convened under a great tree, its ancient brows sheltering them as they deliberated the decision was clear one among them must venture beyond their realm and aid the giants of taya in their endeavors against oblivion choosing to align with the star piercers to ensure the chosen one could fulfill this mission the fairies would combine their magic to bestow upon her and the size and strength of a human that chosen one was Tallulah. With an exceptional affinity for healing, Tallulah stood out among her glittering kin. Her wings shimmered with an iridescent glow, mirroring the essence of her pure heart and gentle spirit. Despite her diminutive stature, her courage and kindness were immense. Tallulah spent her days tending to the flora and fauna of the forest, her soothing touch bringing life and vitality wherever she went. In short, she was the perfect candidate to represent them. As the fairies gathered, their combined magic enveloped Tallulah in a cocoon of shimmering light. When the spell subsided, she emerged transformed, her once small frame now dwarfing her tiny kin, who fluttered all around in her admiration. But they weren't done there. To aid her on this journey, many of the fairies transformed in their spirit forms, butterflies, Imbued with their own healing magic, her selfless kin pledged to accompany her on her adventures, ensuring that hope and healing followed wherever she went. Thus, Tallulah, the holly blue, set forth from her small, verdant homeland to seek out the star piercers, whose base was also located just above the Black Root Bog. Now, none can say that the fairies never played their part in the great wars to come, only time will tell if they might turn the tide. 